and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Azeroth Wars 1.89b. This is the one, the only, the Azathen, and uh, this is part two. Welcome back. Last we left off. Okay, I think the game has calmed down a little bit. I actually stopped the recording to let it deal with whatever uh, lag it had going on. But as you can see, Gray has initiated his teleport. Now, where that teleport will be, I'm not entirely sure as of yet. It, oh, I see some white units down there that means <gasps> gray is going to be invading the south alliance having realized that i see bellhorn has an ally but who could it be <gasps> the only people who have too many allies are orange surprisingly enough well fuck is orange allied too hold on kitty cats what are you doing there kid holy shit orange allied blue the burning legion could go in and get the book at any point now without without contest uh you can see Archmage Antonidas is almost completely dead. He did manage to wipe out the trolls here, but it cost him nearly everything. And in the south... Well, goodness dearie me, I do believe that the south alliance... And again, it's going to be a little bit laggy here because the game's been all night, but it should, you know... Should sort itself out as time goes on. It's just every time I tell, you know, look over to a new place of the map that I have not looked at for a while, it's going to have a bit of a... A Hodor kind of moment, you know? Rescue teal time, says Gray, and that's what he's doing. Hmm. Dark green, not entirely threatened by this rush from Gray, but the upgrades are considerable. Gray has had really no enemy this whole time with 5 3 upgrades. His Warsong grunts are going to cut through pretty much everything. There goes the horde streaming through the human lands, going directly for Darkshire. Is he aiming Darkshire? No, he's, he's got himself right on an improved cannon tower. That caster never stood a chance. Ate a big old explosive. Right to the face. It was, it was terribly unfortunate. And right now, we're just kind of watching the Horde kick some butt. The Improved Cannon Tower is well defended. They're going to have to take out the uh, Heavy Armored one before they can kill this. And that's unfortunate because the fact that that tower has Heavy Armor means that the AI automatically prefer targets the Heavy Armor over the Fortified Armor. It was one of the ways of uh, Blizzard making sure that versus the AI it wouldn't just attack your best stuff it kind of gave you a chance because if the AI was they had to dumb it down they literally had to dumb the AI down to make the game more fair and that seems oh shit oh blue got himself caught all up in the wrong place but still a significant number of his units still alive here he as control of red he could cause a distraction go down to orange's base he is after all allied to orange dollar on and uh, yeah you could have a pretty good time I'm willing to bet Dark green and yellow forced to flee through the dark portal to deal with Gray's aggressions. Could this be the beginning of the end for the South Alliance? One will never know, but nonetheless, Darkshire shall fall. Tried to produce units. Tried to summon units. Ain't nothing working. Dark green, what is your money at? 709. I bet we got a high gold game. 1300 on gray. 391 on green. Orange sitting on 342. Yellow's got 181. He may he be the lowest. 945 from purple. A wild king 288 and rising legion 15 bloody hundred. I thought we heard orcs dying somewhere in this general area. We did, but it's they're not dying quite hard enough. And he got the sentinel tower upgrade, which means it has multi shot. But he didn't actually build any defensive towers or units or anything there. So now Gray is going to have to try to hold the bridge against Yellow's oncoming Dwarven Horde. Bronze Bronzebeard, along with his other brothers, Murden and uh, Magni. Actually, the Bronzebeard brothers are united! Holy cool, that's awesome! Where's the biggest one? See the biggest one? I know I saw Bronze Bronzebeard somewhere here. Come on. No, I saw him! He was a thing! Uh, which one's the biggest looking? I think this guy, there we go, I selected Bronze, okay. Magni is trying to heal up all the units, but he's also healing enemy units. Now, he's activated the Avatar ability on his elite units, which means that they are invulnerable, essentially, with plus 500 armor for a brief duration of time. And he can use... Oh my god, Dark Green with the flank attack is possibly going to put Gray in an unwinnable position here. Oh my god, Gray has to retreat. His heroes, everything not high enough level... But he could take out a Magni here if he would just Firebolt or focus it down with his ranged units at the moment, though. That two-sided attack just too strong, baby. Three-sided? No, there was a small attack from the back here, but va uh, bleh, two Lee's reinforcements are helping a little bit. Two Lee, did you do the thing? Still got 1,200 essentially gold. And no real enemy. Except these two, which now he's pissed off. 
Hopefully, Teal decides to push out. I have to wonder what he's doing. I did see some units moving down here. <gasps> Teal is moving out. Now, this is this is exactly what you want to see. I think that Gray, even though he has lost this engagement, has made a wonderful choice in announcing that he was making the engagement. This means that the pullback from yellow and dark green is not just nonsensical. It is not a baiting technique for Teal to worry about. It means that there is a genuine threat that his enemies are dealing with. And holy crap, dark green is really upgrading his, uh, his front line. Teal? Teal's gonna snatch back some random control points, which is not the worst idea, but I do think that the best idea would be to assault yellow and dark green from behind while this is happening. Now, you don't necessarily have to team with an enemy, you just have to know. Oh, he's getting cocky! Dark green's like, I don't need you, yellow. Listen here, dwarves, your aid is no longer required by Stormwind. We shall handle these vile creatures by ourselves. And the dwarves are like, all right, laddie. I was actually hoping to punch some of the red ones. They give a bit more than they give, you know. They, <laughs> they give a bit more than they get. We like the challenge. That chaos damage really kind of bracing. And no, none of like the three units I clicked in that half second actually had chaos damage, so I feel a little bang. Now, Grey could actually put up a bit of a fight here if... Dark Green's actually cocky enough to attack. Gray doesn't seem unaware of what composition he should have. He's perfectly knowledgeable about what sort of upgrades he should be getting. Uh, he's got 6-4 now. Oh, his melee at least. Blue, what are you up to? Have you finally snuck into the Dalaran dungeons, taken the book, and... Nobody does have an Infernal Stone, which you can buy from the shop, says Blue. He doesn't have control of much. His mastery research has been moved up there next to the Legion Stronghold, for those of you wondering. Green, purple, and orange will soon be moving out. Probably having a good time. Alright, alright. So really, this is the major engagement right now. And if Gray just keeps throwing away the occasional Stonewall Soldier, you can lose the game by the way. I know you think, like, oh, I've got so many units, but just bleeding them slowly throughout the game makes such a difference as you wouldn't imagine. Uh, try to conserve. Try to make your enemy be the one who's losing more than he is gaining. It's okay to pull, it's okay to bait, it's okay to flank, it's okay to do some like, you know, the most efficient attacks at the time. My god. Alright, so Gray is finally having this bit of force wiped out. The Outrage is essentially useless against Gray, as the Warsong Grunts do do normal damage to... Oh, Westwell Brigade Marshals. I mean, something here is a keep, or... Dark Green uses Hero to summon them. One of the two, very strong unit. Tuli, no! <gasps> no! Our brethren need assistance. Gray, who sent me this game? All right, guys, look. This is part of the reason why I'm gonna be playing a lot of other games. Oh man, he just put. Wait, why are they moving back? Okay, like there is no one allied to Tuli, right? I'm gonna turn on Fog of War and make sure that no. No! Okay, so, hold on. I do believe that Teal has control of Grey now, so he... <gasps> Holy shit, son! Teal is a... No, oh, making a strange choice right now. He's moving completely through all the units rather than doing anything else. Did he teleport Grey's units inside to his base? Where did Grey's units go? Someone had control of them. Why did they teleport back here? I have to wonder if Teal thinks I'm definitely going to lose. So what I'm going to do is try to escape. What I'm going to do is try to get on a boat, go over to Kalimdor, control Gray, and maybe keep my units alive there. What? Do no. Um, he's not camping. He was just getting ready to attack and you happen to be there. All right, Gray's units are attacking. Orange now. Turn off that fog of war and see what's going on on the land here, laddie. Again, still, that's very weird that blue is allied to orange. This is... I think our... The people who sent it in are dark green and yellow. They've had an okay game so far. What looked like to be a real threat has kind of left, but if uh, Teal manages to rally... This is the word I'm looking for. He's not going to have any control of the pink areas, but that doesn't mean he could take over a lot of Kalimdor, take all of pink's control points if he manages to sneak out. Oh, he's going to get a scroll. Goblin Merchant has a scroll of teleportation there. Uh, that's on Kargath Bladefist, okay. That's actually, yeah, oh, okay, I'm betting he's going to Kalimdor right now. Let's just check it out for a moment. Verify that that is, in fact, the case. He bought a few more things, and he's got an island. There's just all kinds of orcs hanging out here. 
feeling good. Grom's got to be happy to see his old buddies. He's like, Kogath and, and Rend. Probably not Rend, because Rend is the child of a chieftain that he respected, but not actually someone he respects himself. Hashtag lore bomb dropping on your face, son. Our ally probably needs our help, but we're not going to do anything about it. We're still on Teal, so he's done and gone. He already lost Mag Theridon. No need for him to really defend Outland at this point. I respect his decision to go there. Alright, we'll speed it up. Because ain't nothing going to happen. Okay! Yellow! <laughs> With not really that many... It's like the opposite last game. You know they don't stack, right? I mean, no, no harm in using them, but a few of these could survive to use those later. I wonder if you could just block off the whole bridge with healing wards, and because of the way the AI works, they just wouldn't know what to do. I mean, now they'll kill them because there's not much left there that attacks. Okay, this is what I respect. Yellow has retreated the explorers. He's not going to leave them there to die. Our town is under Good tactical decision, all the while still trying to assault Teal's Fortress. Teal? He's gonna go ahead and take all pink stuff. Why the f not? Go nuts, go nuts. Alright, Dark Green's saying, I'll go north and deal with these these Shazbots, these insane alliance dishbeegs. 1 3 upgrades on his melee, 3 4 or 4 3 on his range. My god, those explorers are extremely good people kind of ignore them but the fact that they do magic damage have a decent ranged decent attack speed armor and healing wards and the ability to net you just can't get better than that it's super efficient all right yellow is smart enough to kill off the generators my upgrade says dirt green probably they're very good one five yeah they're a bit silly about your range one fives okay so basically he is super tanky <laughs> He's very tanky. We're under and there goes the Black Temple. The Dwarven Mortar Squads are going to take it now. This is their view. Down with the Black Temple and the last of the Fell Horde. Oh, yeah. That felt good. It's dead and gone and buried well. I'm still under attack? Oh, just an Orc Burrow. I should probably get off Teal. Teal's not going to be too interesting. I mean, Orin, what the fuck is Orange doing? He's going to Northrend, but he's still at it. No, he's still allied to blue. Yes, he still is allied to blue. What what point will his allies realize this? Because this ally screen is up at all times, and if you pay attention to it, you kind of get an idea of what's going on. You can understand, oh, all right, so this person has one more ally than they should, and this person has one more ally than they should. So clearly, there is doth problems happening. At the I don't actually want to close that. It's, it's helpful for you guys to look at that, and that's what you should always be looking at to kind of get an idea of who's in the lead right now. I don't stress that enough is that regions uh, represent control points. And the control points represent gold income. Again, now there is some discrepancy. You know, this one gives 10, this one gives 50 if I'm not wrong. But for the most part, it's around 10, 15, 20 at most for your regular old control points. Maybe a uh, capital city might give 30. Somewhere really important like Strathol might give 25. You know, that kind of stuff. It's based off importance in geographic location. But usually... You can judge some how well someone's doing by looking at their control points. And oh my god, Dark Green went tanky face all over regular green. Just all these men. It's just that's that's all Dark Green has. Is angry, sexually frustrated men clad in armor. And they have been... Just, this is not right. The patriarchy is really winning a terrible victory today. Because they've chased the women straight off the bridge. Alright, now hold on. Two, two Silverhand Squires are now fighting. They're not the best since really their major bonus is that they're immune to plague. But you know, it's a melee unit and that's important. And all these archers can kind of get a good time going until they get hit by a shockwave. That's very unfortunate. Oh my god, the fighting. Oh, Yellow don't even care. He's like, I don't want to fight men. I want to fight the women. They've got a bit of an elfish around them and I like it. They're frail. And he's dead. Alright, so perhaps considering women to be frail is the worst thing you could possibly do, especially when they fire arrows that quickly and light them on fire before hitting you. Oh, see, that's the problem. This looks like a very strong line, lots of ranged, but with the AoE that Azeroth Wars brings to the table, ranged mass is not the best because they have such low health. Oh, uh, that's gonna hurt. 
Dark Green's got the advantage without Orange here to offer some kind of AoE potential. No, he has teleported back. He will be trying to get to that bridge in time to help his allies. Green is spamming some units. He should have plenty of money to do so. 300 gold still lost his melee hero and purple 922. Where are your people? Oh, they're just having a tea party at Anderhall. I didn't realize that's such an efficient use of your time and all the things. I can't, I can't get over how good that is. Yes, Yellow! Drop the healing wards now that you have an army on which to do so. Look at how efficient it is. They're healing themselves almost faster than they're being killed. I mean, they're still being killed faster than they're being healed. But, you know, it helps. And the, that's the thing you got to think about is you drop these healing wards. And at the end of the day, I, it was like, oh, 700 health, 800 health, 900 health. Whatever amount of health the unit has is com completely pointless. What it boils down to is how many hits they can take. And what healing wards do is increase the number of hits a unit can take. You have to accept that in Azeroth Wars, many units are going to die. I don't like it, no one likes it. But what healing wards allow you to do is have an extra three, four, five hits. And when that is on every unit, you have to understand that you may kill their units before they kill yours. You may, uh, you know, that arrow that would have killed them before doesn't now and it gets in an extra hit you're increasing the efficiency of your army all of the game all of this game boils down to efficiency because of the sheer scale that we're dealing with uh regular warcraft 3 you are trying to be you're trying to micro your ever living heart out in this you want to see the big picture because of the number of units that are involved the micro like that is just impossible what you need to make sure is that composition positioning uh buffs you know, healing wards, stuff like that. Again, he's about to run out. He should not spam the healing wards. He should drop a healing, maybe one, maybe two at most. And because they have a very long, re you know, timer. And now without the healing wards, he's going to find himself falling behind a little bit. Purple's really protective of his heroes, and I understand it. Like, he's, I don't, did he read the game? Does he know he can revive them if red and blue are dead stuff? I don't. Orange has got a decent base over here. Again, it's basically boiled down to Evil and North Alliance and South Alliance. And we still have, like, a well over an hour to go in this game. Oh, there we go. Just, like, six healing wards. Just six of them. Why? Because we could drop them right here and it would heal everything still. But instead, we're going to drop five of them right here where they can be attacked. Are you summoning units? Uh, again, this is, a, this is still a good choke point for them. I would have said that Yellow, who probably has quite a bit of money needs to drop a few dwarven keep towers here the command aura buff plus their natural siege damage plus play perhaps a can a few cannon towers even a forward base in this location would make it nearly impossible for the north alliance to break through but as it is wow wow says teal what okay i'm beaded says dark green get the fuck out my land says purple orcs don't have any farms they have burrows. Our town is under they have things. Wait, do you not have... You have... Orc peons. Yes, you do! Maybe not a shop. I don't know. It's a new version. I could be wrong. What's happening here? Yellow's... Okay, he's clearing up demon gates while he's also fighting the Northern Alliance. I respect that. I respect it. This is not looking good. I mean, just look at the North Alliance army that is moving into this location. Pyromancers, Hydromancers, Longbowmen. Admiral Dalen Proudmore just watching from the back like, That's right, lads. I don't know why I've got a slight Aira shot. We're going to pretend this is the Dwarves talking instead. Murray Bronzebeard, turn the back. The Thanes, King Magni, and Bronze Bronzebeard, Hap Bran Bronzebeard, have all appeared. Hold the lines, ye worthless curs. And hopefully aim Jaina Proudmore if at all possible. That would be very useful. All now, the South Alliance has far higher level heroes. North Alliance has better symmetry. What is the word? I've been saying symmetry for like the last two days, but what I mean is like... I've said the goddamn... I'm going to watch my old cast. I'm not going to ask you as this. A good heal there by Magni. Not healing the enemy, but instead healing all himself. Level 6 on Magni, level 9 on Murden. And I have to assume that Yellow has not yet chosen his mastery upgrades. I'll tell you what though, 1-3 upgrades on these things, that's mean. 3 armor, 11 hero armor, plus the ability to go invulnerable, immunity of spells, things like that. You, look at that! The smallish force from dark green and yellow have, has actually managed to start cutting into this force. Oh, King Varian Ring with his ultimate is always dangerous. 
Oh, that's right. They also control Grim Batal, so they have a vampiric aura on all of their melee units and heroes, which cannot be underestimated. With a healing ward on top of that, you have to bet they have the advantage. Mer Prince Murden Bronzebeard, almost level 10. He will gain his ultimate avatar state, <laughs> in which he becomes the master of all four elements. Fist, foot, hammer, and axe. Just whooping your ass. Oh, no. Oh, it looks like Green has decided that Murden is, in fact, a target now. And I don't think Yellow's recognized it in time to back his hero out. Come on. Get him out of there, lad. 150. It's 50. Oh, he sees it, but it's too late. Oh, no. Orange says he's OP shit. He's just... Is he? No, like, he kind of got his hero destroyed, and then he had to run away. You can see Yellow deciding to aim down Thanes one by one. Not that effective, though. For those of you who don't know, Clothalos Archers can activate either a Frost Arrow or a Flame Arrow. Frost Arrow is slow, Flame Arrows do more damage. I like to have a nice mix of both. Add in Sorceresses, Priests, you've got yourself a pretty good army right there. Heals, slows, extra damage, and again, slows, stacks with Frost... Oh my god, what the fuck. Oh, Blue is just hunting! Blue is hunting everybody. I think Orange is like, I don't... Come on, put him to sleep. This is why you put him to sleep. Use the sleep ability on your Dreadlords. Surround him. Kill Othmar Garethos. Kill, you know, Uther and all that stuff. Orange might still be allied to Blue. I'm not entirely sure. We're under That's not the right player. Is he? He is! Is he gonna run in and get the book? Oh, he's killing off heroes left and right. Just get the book! Yes! Yes! Yes, he's go... No. Yes. Go! No! Get the book! Yeah, Purple's gotta be pissed that Orange's towers were not shooting or revealing, and he didn't close the gates. Oh, Enraged Elementals are no match for the Dreadlords! He's gonna have plenty of money. He's already got plenty of money. I don't know... Uh, uh. Dark Green and Yellow gonna push across? No, they barely survived. And there we go! Okay, Yellow, thank you very much. He's finally built his Griffins. He's gonna be bringing them into the fight uh, across this bridge. bridge. The choke point, their, you know, AoE in a line is kind of invaluable. Book of Medivh, blue. It's got a fucking Inferno Stone and the Book of Medivh. If you can get out of there and actually summon this, it's going to be amazing. Now, blue has level 7 heroes. Level 7, level 7, okay. Dark green and yellow have level 10. If they can steal the Eye of Sargeras before blue can get to the island... They gain an advantage, but if Blue somehow manages to steal the Eye of Sargeras, he could have a real advantage here. But again, he's just kind of running around right now. We're going to keep an eye on him. This hero start dying. Scout Tower is being brought up by Yellow, finally deciding to defend this position. I actually like this as opposed to these two. Believe it or not, uh, this ensures that when these units reach this area, they're going to be clustered. They're going to be damaged. Um, putting them here allows for yellow to shoot them with ballistas from this point whereas if you put them in this area they have to bring their ballistas into a vulnerable position and you can hit them or when they attack full-fledged their ballistas may be wedged behind units and uh, not as effective or unable to reach your towers it's pretty cool the legion is just walking everywhere now purple does is <laughs> does purple aware that he has the ability to get his towers the far side upgrade so they can see invisible units Shit, need to go. Anyone ally me. Alright, Teal, where are you? Oh, he's just he's just running around. Just running around with a gray hero group. Because it has 6-4 upgrades, why not? What better could that... Blue better do it. Okay, it was yellow taking control points. Blue is a coward 99% of the time. It's not inaccurate. When you're feeling in the mood to just kind of mess with people and be a jerk, you play blue. And that's okay. Oh, blue still has control of red and red's not dead. Alrighty. I do slightly miss the fact that you could break the rocks and attack from this area. It kind of made more things interesting. But I think that taking that uh, uh, attack avenue away and adding in the harbor was a very good choice. Nothing going on right now as far as I can tell across the bridge. Our allied town is under attack, and there's just a lot of furball champions. Dead furball champions. Oh! Dark Green landed on the island. He's probably opened the gate, and now he's going to get the Eye of Sargeras, but... I 
I've had this wine sitting next to me this whole time, and I haven't drank it, but I need to drink it now. Our town is being attacked. It tastes terrible! But why are you spamming Outriders? Like, he seemed to know what he... Okay, there we go. There's some spearmen. Are you going to build uh, Arcane Sanctum and get out some priests? Maybe chaplains, heal yourself. I don't know. Orange is having a great time over here in Kalimdor. Just tromping through what used to be Orgrimmar. Taking over the Azara Coast. Oh, Sea Behemoths? That's fine. I've got Earth Elementals. That literally have more health than a level 7 Sea Giant. Well, he's dead as shit. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no. May my body rest here forever. And my bones commemorate the sight of my defeat. Oh, no. They proud my friends. And my bones... How long do the bones stay here is my question. Like, what? Like a minute or something? Sorry about that. Oh! Wow! Those were some not long-lasting dragons. Gem of Akidara. Cast bolts of lightning that deal damage to multiple targets. Charming. Alright, well, his, his bones are just staying there for quite a while, but I'm guessing they're gonna leave pretty soon, and then I can make some kind of joke about how sad that is. Oh! Yellow's getting defensive. I hear people fucking fighting, and I can't figure out where that is. Oh, it's okay. So Griffin Riders harassing. Good use of that. I like to see a player who is constantly using the... Yeah, it's not good. Got two troll warlords here. They have heavy armor, so they're effed. They're effed right in the A. That magic damage does so well against them. And the serpent wards will eventually fall too. They Yeah, that's... Why is he focusing Jin on Thor? Oh, because they're immune to magic and they're still messing up the Gryphon Riders. Oh, that is unfortunate. Go home. Lick your wounds. Be embarrassed. What? Oh, green may be deciding to try to lock down Red's final base here. They never did finally clear out Skolomance. Baron Rivendell remains alive. But blue is really just using this as an excuse to lure some units in and get some extra uh, experience. And dark green is broken in to the Tomb of Sargeras. It's assaulting the demons that lie there and pooping all over the corpse of Gul'dan. The demons thought that they were pretty cool. They thought they were hot shit. They're like, yeah, look at this. We're hanging out in an old night elf town. I kind of got myself a sweet setup. Why don't you come over and hang out, succubus lady? She was like, I don't know. I mean, old night elf ruins were really all the rage about like two years ago. But now it's it's all about the tauren. You know what they say about them tauren. They done be hung like bulls. And, and then it got like really violent because demons aren't that understanding of the fact that she tried to, you know kind of put down his sexual prowess Just made it awkward uncomfortable all right well rexar's doing damage and also not dying i just i just like to point out that how much he's not dying on one time speed it's a tanky tanky hero he's dead but he's still very good very good while he was alive it's like a relationship you have to appreciate that sure it ended but how cool was it while it lasted? The answer is very cool. Blue is doing not. Nothing. Plus negativo. Alright, improved watchtower going down. Everything is dying anyone pushing across this bridge no he's just getting it all oh he even built a tavern damn yellow's got a defensive build here Ooh, he's even got like slots so they can slide in so that it's not completely blocking them but it is actually limiting the oh that's that's good i don't know what he's doing here i mean he's certainly doing damage He's actually doing a lot of damage. You can see he's deciding to invest more and more troops in this. In fact, a vampiric aura from Grim Batal still functioning. And with the Griffin Riders in this fight, uh, Orange kind of caught off guard here. They were not expecting this. They thought that Yellow was bunkering up. But really what Yellow was doing was creating for himself a safe place to fall back to. And now he can just spam away. And he knows that his Dwarven Warriors uh, are going to gain a lot of benefit from that vampiric aura. I think that's the good. that, that was the right choice. And explore healing ward or two, plus vampiric aura, plus AoE from Griffin Riders, even mortar teams. Uh, would be just a great idea in general. He's got his main army here, though. That's just a distraction. He's got 2,000 gold, laddie. 
Alright, Battle Mage, Kitty Cat's hanging out. Oh, Allah Viking said that he had to go, but he's just clustered up over here. Near the Goblin Shipyard. Where's he gonna decide to leave to? They cleared out? No, they got pushed back. So Sylvanas has realized she cannot claim Skullamance on her own. <laughs> Dark Green must be like, wow, you actually took it. Varian got a lot of items. Ooh, Dark Green, what items do you have on Varian? He probably has the eye. Oh, okay, so he's got an Orb of Fire, Flame Strike Sword, Eye of Sargeras, and the Crown of Stormwind. If that hero dies, three of those things say goodbye bye. He has no boots of speed, although he does have the aura of speed. He has. Oh, he left him there, didn't he? Ah! I bet you did, son! Oh, look who left Danith Trobane all the way down there. He's like, oh, that's right, I, I need Danith, who I get after killing off the Bla uh, Dark Citadel, whatever this was, to come up here and uh, activate this so I can get Galen Trobane and whatnot. Oh, no. Those are some, those are some uh, feminine screams there. For such manly looking archers. Now, VAP10 is an old, old player. We've seen him in many a replay in the past. Haven't seen him in a while, from my memory. Shit, Blue. Have you summoned the Legion yet? You've got the book. It's like you don't know what to do with your life. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yellow's getting all crazy. There's fights going on. There's ogres happening. There's evil enforcers and demi-heroes and stuff happening. That's okay. Stromguard Keep is still alive. I do like the relocation of Stromguard Keep to this area, although if boats can reach it, that would be a problem. Yellow is spamming, probably suggesting that he attack through this, while Dark Green attack through this. Now, what Yellow's attack will do is it'll pull all of the units either through here to deal with it, or into this area. And then immediately when that happens, oh, that's right. Yeah, Yellow don't care. His unit's too strong on the dong. Serpent wards and ships aren't going to stop him for long. Dark Green spamming outriders, Westfall Brigade and whatnot. Uh, these explorers could drop a few healing wards, but I think Yellow's distracted. That's fine. The advantage right now goes to Dark Green with his wonderful use of the Reign of Fire ability on his crown. He did get frozen, which stopped... Was that him or was that this unit above it? The, ex the explorer is the one that got frozen. Okay. Frost Cell. I see. Okay. Move, says Dark Green. I'm stuck. You can't get out. You can't fucking leave. They're great. Break the fucking healing ward and leave. All right, Yellow's finally decided to join in this fight. Well, because why not? Murden, level 10. Magni, probably like level 8 or so, because that uses a couple levels behind. He's level 8. And Murden! No. Fucking Balegun Flamebeard's still alive. Just being awesome. That healing, perfect against the mass range damage they're facing. Murden ate a dick. Murden ate a real hard dick. A healing ward, maybe something else would have helped. He's in a bad spot right now, though. He needs them mortar teams. Mortar teams would work wonders against the archers and massed hydromancers. Potentially, Dark Green doesn't seem inclined to send any units to this fight. Just heroes. Not even getting his elite units. I do not understand this player whatsoever. He's got 5-5 five, five upgrades, Stormwind Knights, anything would be very, very good. Yellow's really, I gotta say, Volel's kicking butt here. He's kind of the main thrust of this fight. Every time we see Dark Green, he's like, I don't know what to do. Ooh, let me sit back here with my heroes. And <laughs> Volel's is like, yeah, bring it on. Blood for the blood god. And he's like, I've got a lot of items. Look at all my bling, son. How much damage my hero who's not engaged in the fights does. Woo! Oh my god, Lady Sylvanas Windrunner is level 10, which means she has the multi-shot ability shooting four? I'm seeing four arrows at a time. You stack claws of attack on her and she becomes painful. And he has the money to do it. Buy the claws here, buy the claws here. And hopefully manage to grab some items from other players during the game. Hello, Viking, how are you doing? You still on the you still on the beach! What you're doing, kitty cats? You have your heroes over in Callum. Don't know. He's brought some back. Okay, I see now, Hans. 
Can't tell you that joke. That was an inappropriate joke. Blue's just watching. Oh. I mean, that's okay. Oh, he is attacking, so he's allied still. Burning Legion has four allies. Let's go to Burning Legion and see who he. Oh, he allied green! He allied green and orange. Because red left. That makes perfect sense. South Lions is wasting so many mortars on these summon units. Just bring the mortar teams down here, shoot this whole batch of units, and call it a day. Drop a couple healing wards. You know. Oh, there goes the Inferno Stone. That's actually very efficient. May not seem like it, but without a healing ward there healing everything, it's doing. Oh, and now he's got his units on a move command. Yeah, blue ally North Alliance. That's no bueno. Help if you had units. You're fucked because you have 1600 gold and no units on the front line. I don't understand it. Your clergymen seem to be not upgraded at all, so you don't have dispel, you don't have inner fire, you have nothing. Blue's trying to surround Varian because he wants all of them sweet eye. Oh, you're getting too cocky, Dark Green. Oh, Blue wants it. Blue wants it. Oh, he got sleep, but he's out of it. Kitty Cat's saying, you're fucked. Wow, Kitty Cat's, you had a red who left. Then you allied Blue, gave him the book. Hey, Bernie leaves an ally to whole NA, right? Okay, he did. The fact that they're gonna hold in here right now is amazing. But again, Dark Green, you really do need to upgrade your priest so that you can dispel all these summoned water elementals. It, it's it's a huge amount of life that you don't have to cut through all right yellow right in the bloody front lines again trying to hold blue spamming all he can there we go there's the dispels i wanted to see closing the gate it works in this version and rain oh fire on their enemies he opened it up again why would marconis oh marconis purple controls it i see okay i thought maybe he was just being a dick but these things very powerful Oh, Tychondrius, the Darkener is about to fall. Woo! And, and Malganus as well, if he's not careful. Yellow Force Retreat for the moment, though. Uh, I got it. They have the money to hold this, guys. I can't stress enough. Dark Green, where are your fucking units going? He's, he's like, okay. He's got upgrades. He's got units coming out of here, maybe? He went from like 2,000 to 400, so he's got to have something up his back pocket. That's fine. Too. Oh, when the mortar teams start hitting this, this is going to fall really quick. Uh, purple, oranges really feel overpowered until they face the siege damage of some races. And again, please, for those yellow players who are here, for all players who are here, make sure that your siege is focusing down their ranged backline units and not attacking near your front line. Don't just a, a move. Don't a move. Because... That siege will not do you any fa favors. None. Also, use the flare ability on your mortar team so that you can see invisible units. Malganus is just basically being an asshole. Bad sport about that. All he's like, here, take some bats and fucking insect jet out. God, I want. You're not my real mob. You're not my real Lord of the Burning Legion. Man, I gotta say, props for keeping Bale gonna live this long. Well, like, super not props for not spending your money wisely. Come on, you have enough for an upgrade, you have enough for more units. This should be going better. Engineers? Well, I think, okay, engineers are a decent choice here. Yeah, engineers are a decent choice here. Oh my god, he did it. He used the flare ability, he's gonna surround Tychondrius. He might even get Malganus here. If the flare lasts long enough. No, move your units up! He's gonna go around! Do it again! Okay. Yeah, oh! Oh! Deo, daylight, come on, me one go home. Book, is the book, is the book, is the book. Book of my divan, me one go home. Wait, who got it? 
I saw a book. Is one of his knights picking up? No book for you, says... Oh, oh, he's got it on a Stormwind Champion. Nice. Okay, so, no. Burning Legion for blue. I happen to agree. I think that's a good choice. Uh-huh, Rising Legion, sure. Um, I'm sure that a player like you who allies his greatest enemies doesn't at all want to be in a better position than he should be. <laughs> yeah, destroy it, Dark Green. I actually think that's okay. It's on one of these units. No, oh, it's on Bolvar 4 Dragon. Okay. Oh, a wonderful choice with these Zeppelins. Oh, that range... Oh, well, that Siege Damage is going to wreak havoc on the Hydromancers and the Casters. But I think for right now, we can go ahead and call it an episode. Thank you, for, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me for part two of this Azeroth Wars 1.89b replay. Please go visit DimpleMunion.com if you are interested in playing this game, or if this is in any way, you know, grabs your attention for those of you longtime players. Please continue to play. Continue to send me in replays at netheron21 at hotmail.com. You'll find it in the description. Uh, also, send me lots of other maps, interesting maps, whatever you want. I don't, really li I don't really like World War II gun-themed maps, like stuff like that. I prefer medieval magic maps, but, you know, whatever you got, go ahead and send it to me. See you later, guys. Bye!